you're involved in something special. It's launching today. It's called Fertility Out Loud. Tell us about it. I have been very out loud with everything, everything I've ever said, basically. <laughs> so I figured why not be out loud about something that was really actually very important to me. I think our journey with fertility and infertility has been very public for a very long time. And I just felt that the more public we were, the more public other people were. And I didn't feel that I had anywhere to go, but to be able to have a place that families are able to go to where they can, you know, get answers to all of their random questions and to be surrounded by people that are going through the same things. Um, it's just an important thing. Do you feel that they're really, for a lot of women, just aren't a lot of places to go to find out your options and fertility treatment options? I mean, I think sometimes women feel isolated and alone. Yeah, because nobody talks about it. It's not a thing to be ashamed of. You know, I, I came out um, a while ago about my infertility issues. I, I talked about a miscarriage and I was really nervous about putting myself out there. And I know you've been very open about your loss too. And it was like the floodgates opened. There were women just waiting in the wings to tell their story. What does that mean to you to be able to give women that space to just share their story? I look back on it and it feels like such a blur. It's like being on a roller coaster and holding your breath and then not really remembering it at the end. I just know that the way we shared it was super hard and it was super hard for John but for some reason I knew that it would help a lot of people there was one moment that really struck me and that was being at the grocery store and uh, 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 somebody just quietly laying flowers in my cart and then I realized that there are so many women that that don't get this kind of attention because they're living through this privately and quietly and it just was a big moment for me where I realized that I could be this person that people could see and look up to as somebody that had a platform where their stories were gonna be recognized. So for me, that was a very defining moment. What would you wanna to say to those women who've experienced loss or who are going through the IVF journey or who are feeling guilty that their bodies aren't working the way they want them to work? What would you say to those women right now? First of all, there's so many different ways to make your dream happen now. Coming to terms with the fact that I can't carry again has been something really tough and like, you know, I've agonized over it because to me, it's when I'm at my happiest. I loved being pregnant and the fact I got to do it twice, I think was miraculous enough. There's a way to have that beautiful child, whether it's your own or, you know, whether you adopt. And I think the more that we share our stories, the more people will realize that they connect with one of those stories. And that's really important. And um, there's something so beautiful about that. Finally, yeah. talk about your support system. Your mom, Pepper, was on the other I mean, day <laughs> with us. Yeah. She videotaped herself yeah. being on the Today Show. I'm like, you know, this like is a very popular show. It's gonna like air everywhere. Like she's, I'm like, you don't need to videotape it on the side. But I'm so proud of her. Honestly, I swear to God, I think her book's doing better than either of my books. You know, we've all kind of been had these challenging moments and it feels like a cloud and you don't know when the sun will come out again. But how are you doing today? How is your spirit? I feel really good. I feel really positive. It feels like a time to renew and re-energize. And I love that feeling. And I hope that no one thinks my pink hair seems like I'm, I'm going crazy because I'm actually just discovering myself. I saw the pink in it and I'm like, you know what? Live your best life, my friend. I so love it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm almost 40, but whatever. I'm going to do it. I don't care. <laughs> the term you only live once is really applying to me these days. So <laughs> I'm going yeah. for it. I really loved our conversation. It was a good conversation. And she's, was. she's making it accessible to talk about fertility issues, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a great campaign she's working on. So you can head to today.com to check out stories from couples sharing their infertility journey as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.